snowed overnight. Look at that. Not very much. But... It's like 25 degrees this morning, so it's a perfect morning to go Zwifting. So, I had a little issue with Zwift this week. I uh, My video card on my computer crashed and died, and I normally face that computer and Zwift over there, but now I've been using my wife's computer. So, you know, I was pretty stunned. I was really surprised. Her computer, I made it so she'd just have something for office work and when uh, she needed, she was doing classes and she needed some uh, basic computer. So there's nothing really fancy. I think this is kind of like a low-end Pentium. It's got like eight gigs of RAM. Uh, no video card, it just uses the on onboard Intel HD graphics, which uh, I didn't think much of, but it actually ran Zwift. There's Zwift running right now. So I'm going to clip some game footage. I want to show you guys the difference between running Zwift on a low-end computer without a video card and a high-end computer with I've got a nice new big chunky video card. Well guys, it was pretty much impossible to record a game clip and um, actually use Zwift at the same time. The frame rate went down to about 5 or 10 frames per second. But this will save me time anyway. I can record some audio while I ride here and not have to mess with voiceover. So, this was the setting that Zwift decided it needed to be in. I haven't messed with any of the graphic settings. Uh, it's on low. Resolution is like 576. And as you can see, it's really smooth. I'm pretty sure there's nowhere near as much stuff on the sides of the course. But that's a very smooth frame rate. I don't know what the frame rate is, and I didn't bother going in to turn on the frame rate counter, but I feel like that's probably probably like 50 frames a second or something, or 40 or 50 or 60. Doesn't look too bad to me. Well, here we are back at uh, Zwift Island on the other computer. This one is running the actual video card, quite a bit uh, more powerful computer. I'm running in 1080 and ultra settings. And I went ahead and enabled the frames per second display, which you'll see in the upper left hand corner. It's pretty much stuck at 60. They, looks, there's no, I'm sure there probably is, but. I don't know the setting to allow it to go over 60. Zwift is kind of designed uh, like, you know, more modern app type software where you can't really get under the hood um, very easily to start messing with and change the settings. Like, you know, the graphic settings are, there's like four different graphic settings. Basically low, medium, high, ultra. And I see now there's like a 4K option. But here we are. In 1080 and I can tell it's a lot sharper I can tell it's a lot smoother uh, I quite a bit more detail in the background the filtering the anti-aliasing makes a big difference on smoothness I think even the shadows look different. So do you need a powerful computer to run Zwift? No. Just about any computer can do it. Do you need a fancy graphics card? Is it gonna be better? Yeah. Is it that much better? Not really. I mean, honestly, when I'm riding Zwift, I'm not paying that much attention in, um, at the graphics. Usually, uh, I'm actually just staring at my stem, trying to <laughs> catch my breath. Uh, pretty graphics on Zwift are kind of wasted. Uh, you know, I, 
I wouldn't have bought the video card just for Zwift because after running it on a low end computer, I was kind of stunned by how smooth the frame rates were on that on this particular piece of software. So, uh, if you don't have a video card, you don't have a high end computer, you want to always run Zwift, it's probably not that big of a deal. I wouldn't mess with it. If you want a video card for a more powerful system, maybe this is an excuse to get a good one. So, either way, Ride Zwift. See you guys. I got a ride.